Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome ye all to part 37 of Immortals Phoenix Rising on the PlayStation 5. We are exactly where at the end of part 36. I'm just going to check and then we're going to crack straight on that I didn't have anything hand in here. No, <clears throat> nothing ticked as yet. We were doing some more vaults. Complete all objectives in regular vaults of Tartaros, you know. So, blimey, 15 of 22. It's a fair chunk, that, isn't it? <clears throat> You get uh, 18,200 blue, though. 18, sorry, 18, 1,825 blue, I should say. 18,000, Steve, calm yourself. <clears throat> Even still, though, 22 volts is a fair amount, isn't it? Midnight fragments from night chests. <clears throat> Okay, what was that top one? Defeat lieutenants. Oh, we'll get another one of those. We'll get... Uh, we'll get something. Onward! <clears throat> right, we're going to go back. I think, in fact, we we could go back and crack on the story a little bit. But I think what I'm going to do is go straight for these vaults and get some vaulting done. And in the midst of that, we'll try and pick up some. In fact, we can get pretty close to those two. Those are the two vaults that we couldn't get into. Sort of stuck in buildings for whatever reason. So we'll highlight a purple one. And we'll highlight a off yellow one. And we've got another yellow one up there right enough. So maybe the purple one first. What's the quickest way? Go to that. <coughs> Let's do this. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Just the one that I said we need to remember not to keep teleporting back to. Uh, not necessarily. Well, it was the... Uh. Pick up these yellows while we're at. Can you hear the crickets? Could do with a little icon that says this thing you're about to teleport to is at the bottom of a fucking great canyon of some description. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, back in Gotham. Yeah, it's purple one we're going for, isn't it? Steady. <laughs> it's not going to work, is it? Whoa. We've been here before? Probably. It's a very beautiful place. Some baddens up there. It's a night chest, I think, isn't it? Let's kick off with a big fight, shall we? Well, he didn't last long. Oh, nice, my new axe move. Hold down the old charge button. Nice. Steady. Yeah. 
sneaky little hobbits is coming up from behind there. I thought you were all dead. Nice. <laughs> Boom. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Yeah, okay. Got a midnight fragment, though. Falling away with a midnight fragment. Do, 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 do. That's this video copyrighted because my singing was so gorgeous. Right. <laughs> Far away from the other side. Oh, that song's stuck in my head now. Right, where are we going? Up. Up, up, up. Here we go. Entering the Grove of Cleos, is it? I suppose we don't have to fight them, really, but I want the crystals. Shut up, you. Whoa. It's all gone a bit fucking red and dangerous all of a sudden. What's going on? Nicely. A weapon upgrade available. I only just left the bloody place two minutes ago. Big troll guy over here. Might as well sort him out. Say troll. Cyclops. Hello. <laughs> Hey, I dodged that totally. Marvelous. Well, it would be rude not to, you know, while in pomegranate land. I think we use most of the ones we picked up to make the potions we've got. Well, I've got 48 right enough. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Right, one more tree and then we'll get on with it. Oh, hello. Ooh, kind of spotted me. Come on, now you're asleep there. Fuck me. Calm yourself. I 
I will make you perfect. You will suffer, but it will be worth it. Already done that one. Right, meanwhile, back in my per where well, at my vault. Where is it? Mm. Arachne's web. Is this not one we came to and we didn't have enough stamina though? No, it looks different, doesn't it? That'd be a different one. Well, that's a large one, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. So, I think I need to block the laser with this one, maybe. Which will then give me enough room, maybe, to put this one on. Maybe not. Easier from this direction, maybe. I'd say. Oh. That's only got one thing on it. Well, that'll work. Good start. Cool, blimey, they just get more and more maze like these things. Okay, so we need to get across there. I'll tell you what we didn't do. Let's check where the chests were. <clears throat> well actually an easy way to find out how many there are is just to One chest. <clears throat> there we go. Well, that's interesting, is the Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we've got. <clears throat> well, we've got heavy lifting now, so that makes a little bit of sense, that one over there. Well, that's a heavy. I can drag the heavy metal one through there if it'll let me lift it, won't it? I have no idea if this is what I'm doing is right, but anyway. Ow. feel like the 
brick one will bl break. That said, I only need the little bits of it, don't I? <laughs> well, I can't have them either. Oh no, hang on. Wait, maybe. Holy fuck, where did that come from? <laughs> I was I didn't actually mean to lift that up. Where the fucking hell did that come from? Right, okay. Uh put it down. Well I assume that's what's gonna make that. Hmm. But it doesn't seem to be anything over in that direction that we need, other than we just needed the boxes though, does it? No. So I would argue that taking them is the right thing to do. So let's take a little one. It needs one little one, that, doesn't it? Well, it did it. However, I feel like we're going to need another one to get over there, maybe. Otherwise, why is it giving me two heavy ones over here? <laughs> that wasn't part of the plan. It's a long way up. you got a float to it from up there. And you could, in theory, fly over there. Aha! There we go. So we need to get one of our boxes close enough to get it dragged over here. Ow. Hmm. Not overly convinced I can carry those that high, can I? Mind you, that said, <laughs> we could have used our, just our self-made one, couldn't we? Okay. Next question is, how do we get all the way up? There's stuff down there as well, isn't there? Because we came in from over there. So why is there a button down there for a thing to collect as well? There's a button down there for picking something up.
Huh. What have I got? What have I got? What have I got? Ooh. Bird of prey armor. Similar to what we're wearing, isn't it? Another style. Oh, is that there? That's the badger. Yeah, because that's the one we've got on. So it's another colour of it. Oh, it's quite nice. I don't know. Quite like the white one. Although, just to check, what was its uh What was its power? Oh, just a different skin for the same armour, I think. Is that what it was? Yeah. I see. I'm still slightly bamboozled as to why there is a, a button down there. Right underneath where I'm stood. To get something. I don't know what that something would be. Less of several ways up to the same place, but but like, why is there a button there? I don't know. Maybe it's in case you fall down or something. Whoa, fucking hell. What the hell happened there? One stone, two metal. Well, the metal ones will block the laser. That should get blocked by the wall. Oh, it's all right all the way down, isn't it? Another one up there, though, isn't there? Uh, th that one goes up and across, look. Oh, they just cross over with each other, doing the same thing. Certainly looks like it, doesn't it? So the question is... What's the aim? Uh, ah, okay, we need to get the, we need to get the little ones down there, certainly, I think. It's actually float. you can actually fly around the corner, what's that all about? Is that in case you need to get back some, for some reason? Could be. Ow, nearly. Ah, okay, I can't jump with these. Hey! Ah! Uh. 
Ow. Son of a biatch. Do the right thing here. Got a couple of larger cubes. Overly sure this is going to be enough, is it? <laughs> yeah, there's not a, not enough time to be getting over that, is there? Well. Oh yeah, they lit it up, so hopefully these two will do the same. Marvellous, look at that, eh? Who's a clever lad, eh? Me, I think you'll find. Photo. Thank you. Getting a dab hand at these things now. Another one bites the dust. Hey! So the next one is the paler yellow one. Really? Totally the wrong bloody button that hit there. Big guy and some form of chest up there, look.
Yeah, I'm liking that. Shield bash me if you just hold down our, the right trigger. Woo, Kindle. Does that know what we've got already? This is glowy. Kindle, eh? Does that mean I can read a book on it? <laughs> what the shit? We're currently using Sword of the Pantheon set there. Kindle Arts, the other pointy one. Still prefer this one that I've got to all the others. It's an extra perk that I picked up earlier on. Because those ones are a bit more pointy. Oh, here we go again. So much more. Time for a wraith fight, is it? Fucking outrageous these fights at times. That lock on's doing me a den as well. Feel my pain! Feel the bird, bitches! Ow. I'll learn ya. Bashing, burning. What are you doing? Come on, climb up. Could just drop straight into it, can we really? <laughs> Man, we're going to come out into a fight. I need to remember that. Aeolos's sphere. Yeah, easy for you to say. 
A, Jason A, Yolo, Lo. Ooh, it's a ball one. Roll the ball. Oh, here we go. Blimey. Into the wind, my friend. Roll the ball into the wind. Christy. What? Why is there even a wind thing there? I don't understand. So that... When does that move? Oh, is that... Is that... It's being blown. Is that what it is? It's being blown by the big bar. So you take it off, it comes back, presumably. Oh, you, when you put it there, it comes back. There we go. Question is, though, how do you get it to move again? Or do we actually need the ball on the other side? We might not do. Aha! To the left or the right. Well, that's just marvellous, that is. Look at that. <laughs> what? Nearly. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, unless I... Oh, do I block part of the wind? Is that what it is? Possible. Well, this isn't working as a plan, generally. I'm assuming if I move that ball, it's going to turn that off, so... There's got to be a trick to it here. That doesn't seem to be blocking diddly squat, does it, really? It's 
It's just going far too fast. That's even worse. Ha <laughs> ha! Mad skills, people. What the shit? Woo! Two balls, one of which I think might turn into a flaming ball, maybe. Okay, sure. I think one of them is floatable and the other one is not floatable, maybe. So that one on the left's got to be heavier, you'd reckon. Not quite understanding how... Oh, can I lift one of them up? Is that what it is? Well, I need to be able to lift one up because there's no other way it's getting up here. Oh no, you can roll them down. So I can roll it to there. Fly it across. But the wind's going the other way on that one. Okay. Overly sure what this other one's going to be for. I can only assume it needs to go on that. Certainly moved. Oh, my God, <laughs> uh, nothing epic about this. Lit. Oh god, there's three of the badges. Right, where in God's name do I get a... Oh, well, I suppose I could put my badger on it. Which leaves one ball required. Hmm. 
Hmm. The only other ball was the heavy one, though. How'd you get that over here? Because even if I push the heavy one up to here, there's nowhere for it to go. What's that over there for? <laughs> like there's a place there for something to appear. Wait a minute. Yeah, I mean, there's no good reason for that heavy ball to be up there. Can't lift those, well, it looks a bit you can only push them. Well, that's flummoxed me somewhat. See, yeah, but even if that pushed in, it's still not going to fill that hole, is it? God damn it. I thought I had this one sussed. What is your secret? What is the answer? A ball, a ball, my kingdom for a ball. The thing is, everything suggests that it should be a light ball because the wind needs to blow it wherever it needs to go. That's completely pointless, because that would just blow off of nowhere. Unless we can reverse something, but... Oh, hang on. Let's just remind ourselves as to what, if anything, changed when I put that ball in the coal. Okay, nothing seemed to happen when I did that. Ah, wait a minute. Maybe I should put it in the other one. Let's see if that does anything different. seem to change anything, did it? It 
See so what else I didn't do either. Like, did I even... Nope, there's a chest up there. I didn't even check it. Didn't even check it. So there has to be a way up there. And I'll tell you now, it has to be with that floaty ball, because it's not going to happen with anything else. Got a fancy at those, haven't you? Those have to lift up with air coming out of them, you'd think. Which means that is way down there beginning there, I think. There's also something down there. Oh, that's blew over that, I think. But well, you've got to fancy it to be those pillars to get you up there, for sure. But how? We'd have to put the lighter ball on the left one. Stop. Now that would put the heavy one over to that side, if we put it there. Still don't see how that helps us any. Yeah, that just gets blown back the way, doesn't it? See that? That must get air blown out of it. It's one of those vent things, isn't it? Wonder. Cool, blimey. This one's frazzling me brain, people. Nothing's changing though, like the, the direction of the wind and stuff isn't changing. has to go around that other way, but... What is the end game though? Even if I could blow it this way, what is it that I'm going to be putting it on?
pretty convinced that that's wrong anyway. The bit that's bamboozling me is, like, there, there's nowhere else to put a ball. Other than right at the very end. Like, how on earth, where, where's the ball meant to go? I get that the airstream is going one way, but... Right, that's not got any air at the moment. But it did have, didn't it, when I did something before. Must have been when I put the ball in the other side. Okay. Well, the ball has to go this way because there's no other way, way for it to go. I suppose one thing the big ball could do is block the air from the other side, but... To, the, to what aim, though? <laughs> like, there's nowhere to put the, the ball, even if I get it over here. I, I can't even get it over there anyway. The only place I can get it is to there. There's only one path it can take. Right, well that, that moved, that thing moved there. For a brief second it moved, didn't it? I think it was when the ball was rolling toward the propeller. It stops the propeller from moving round, which is what's holding that in place, I think. Still a place for something to appear down there, look. Holy shit. It's gonna do my head in. Yeah, see, if you leave the ball there, the propeller's not turning anymore. But then you have to try and figure out what it is the propeller's actually changing. Because something's moving.
Nah, it's a dead end, that. Complete dead end. <laughs> There's no point in taking the ball up there. Yeah, so that one puts the air up the middle. So does that one. So in theory, we can block the air getting to that propeller there, can't we, with the heavy one? Can't remember if we've tried that. Let's just bring this one back. Steady. Yeah, we brought the light one up here, but not the heavy one. Aha! Right, got it. But that's not helping me get up there. <laughs> right, I know how to get the second ball across here now. But how do I get up? I want me treasure, people. Right, we know how to do the puzzle. Uh, did we though? Because I thought there was a, I thought there was a big block at the end there. Oh no, that's going to pull forward when I block the air to it. That's what that is. Hmm. Fuck. I haven't seen anything that's going to help me get up that bloody treasure chest. See what happens when we get everything to the end. So we're now to get the ball of lightning. Uh. 
Mind you, there is a big button that comes with this area. It could be that that button is the answer to the treasure. It could be it just activates the wind that gets us across. Yeah. One way to find out. Oh. Yeah, see, what is that for? Why does the ball have to fly all the way up there? And that goes well high, doesn't it? Is that going to get me over there? Uh, is it just all oh, right? I think it's just to get it over there, isn't it? Talking about my earth. Well, it's interesting because it has given me the button and it's also given me the Chris the thing there that would suggest to me that it's a flying job isn't it it looks like I can fly from here whoa the fuck Ah, oh, I see. Yeah, because I used my thingy for that, didn't I? So that that's in case you haven't got that thing that I've got. Right, well, let's give it a whirl. Yeah, I've cocked it up, actually, but... Oh, no, that's it. It's just, it's just put all the things on so we can get there that's all it is we've done it people we've done it I said that very confidently before I've got there didn't I Woo! what have I got what have I got what have I got Ooh, breastplate of the eagle. Give that a whirl. I think what threw me off there was, in most of these things, they're like separate puzzles, aren't they? But that was an all-in-one. An all Get everything at the end done, and it will bring you back to... Bring you back to the treasure as well. Which is pretty sweet. We can float all the way back to there, I think. Let's have a look at our... Oh, no, no, no. The breastplate of the eagle. This armor is infused with the soaring might of Zeus, king of the gods. No pressure. 
Oh, that's quite smart, isn't it? It's got sparkling and lightning on it. What the shit? <laughs> nah, I like that. It goes with the boots and everything as well. So what does it actually give you as a perk? Refill 6% of health chunk on hit. Bloody hellfire. Really? Extra plus 3 to combo meter on hit with weapons health uh, with weapons while health is full. It's the extra stamina I've got on at the minute, isn't it? I always feel like I've dropped a lot of stamina when I take it off. That's smart, innit? I like that. Really nice armor. Actually, it's not too bad on the stamina now that we've got it leveled up. Studious. Superb. We always get there in the end, people. Always. Sweet. Oh, yeah, where's the enemies gone? We should have had a fight when we came out. That I totally forgot about until right that moment. That was rats, I thought it was birds. Well, we can move on to the next vault now. I think I'll just keep cracking through the vaults as we're having such a good time with them. And the closest one, apart from the two we can't get into at the minute, is this yellow one up here. I'm pretty well clearing this out as well. I've got a green one there, right enough. So the green or the yellow. Six and a half a dozen. Probably as well do the yellow first because there's another one over here. And then another one over there. Circling round to a wraith lair, actually. Actually, there's another one over there as well. Vaults galore. Well, there you are. Well, that got me brain going for a bit. Bloody hellfire. There you are, folks. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Immortals Phoenix Rising on the PlayStation 5. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.